October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And many of you may be doing things with your jobs, your churches, or your community to commemorate this month and remember people who have lost their lives due to domestic violence. Some of you may be thinking, well, what can I do to help someone who has suffered with domestic violence or someone who you may think is going through a domestic violence situation at home? You may feel like, well, I don't know anyone who has been through something like that. Well, for those of you who know me, you can officially say that you know someone who has been through domestic violence. So today I wanted to tell my story of domestic violence in the hopes that it would help someone else who has been through, that is going through a domestic violence situation. So. When I was a little girl, my mother was married to my stepfather, and he would be physically, emotionally, and verbally abusive towards her. A lot. I remember being afraid to go home from school. I remember wanting to commit suicide because I felt like not being alive would be better than going home to see my mother get beaten, yelled at, and abused every day. I remember being angry, angry at my mom because I didn't understand why she would stay and be treated the way she was being treated. I remember being angry at my stepfather for treating my mother the way he did. You just never know if the person next to you at work, if the child sitting next to you on the bus, your coworker, your choir members, you just never know if that person is going through a situation at home and they could just be afraid or angry, wanting someone to reach out and help them. I've never really talked about this before because it's a time in my life that I try to forget. A horrible time in my life filled with fear and anger and pain. I remember so many times just closing my eyes and trying to shut the violence out. Pretend that it wasn't happening. But having to open my eyes again and realize that I was still living in a household where my mother and I had to fear for our safety every day. I remember standing up to my stepfather one day and I had a knife and I told him that if he laid his hands on my mother one more time that I was gonna kill him. And he came after me and I ran and I hid in the closet. Those were probably the scariest two to three minutes of my entire life. I remember hiding in that closet in the dark, hearing my stepfather trying to bust the door down to get to me. And I remember my mom screaming because she was afraid. I remember hearing her as he beat her, as she tried to protect him from getting to me. I just remember the pain and the fear of hearing my mom get beat over and over again. Growing up now, I don't, I don't blame her. She was the strongest woman I ever knew. <laughs> and one day she finally stood up and had enough. 
and she packed me up and we left and we ran. I left behind family and friends at school and we went and we lived in a shelter for about two months. I was scared. I was terrified. My mama told me that we had to stay there so that my stepdad wouldn't find us and kill us. It was the hardest time of my life. Being a child, not understanding what was going on, not being able to go to school, ride a school bus, play on the playground, all the small things that we take for granted that a child should be able to enjoy. But I also remember loving family members and friends that were there for us. I'm now 27 years old. I'm married. I have two beautiful little boys that mean the world to me. My husband is not abusive. He's a wonderful man. And I'm alive. And I say this because I want everyone who is going through a situation similar to what I went through as a child to know that your life is not over. Suicide is not the answer. You can make through it. You will get through it and you will survive. There's so much happiness in the world to experience. And I know you may be afraid and you feel like no one else is there. But there are resources in your community. There are people that will reach out and help you. Don't give up. To the child that's afraid to go home from school. I've been there. Know that you can find help. And there are people out there who love you and care about you. If you've never been through domestic violence, you are very blessed. There's no other feeling like not being able to go home without fear for your life, your family's life, your mother's life your father's life, your brothers and sisters' lives, having to be uprooted from your home and live with strangers because you can't go home. As I said, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And I want to ask everyone that views this video to like and share this video, not to publicize myself, but you just never know if the person sitting next to you is afraid to go home, afraid to reach out, needing someone to help them. My hope is that by sharing this video, I can possibly reach somebody who needs some help and to let them know that they can and will survive domestic violence.